This video will explain the difference between a WordPress post and a WordPress page. Now, of the two, the post is by far the most important. Now, let's back up to the beginning. The post has been around since WordPress first began, and the page was not introduced until version 1.5 back in 2005. You see, with version 1.5 onward, you could now create static pages, like your contact page or your about page, that are not part of any blog post. And here's a couple other differences between the two. Pages are a one-off content holder, and posts are a series of content within a WordPress site that can be related to one another or not, but are by default shown in reverse chronological order, meaning the most recent post is at the top and the older posts are below that. And pages can be parents or children of one another, but posts cannot. Posts, however, have tags and categories, but pages do not. And by default, you can use custom page templates, but you can't with posts. Posts have different post types, static, video, audio, depending upon the theme that you're using, and pages do not. And you can create as many different pages as you want, just like posts, and posts show up in your RSS feeds, but pages do not. And that's gonna bring us to the end of this video on the differences between your WordPress post and your WordPress page. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.